in this stream. Hey, I did it. Well, hopefully I did it. Oh. No. The camera. <laughs> in this stream, let's try that again. I have to remember to put this camera on because it's on battery. Um, because I still haven't got a new power supply for it. So yeah, I, I didn't have the camera on. Well done. You can, <laughs> you would you wouldn't uh, expect any anything else from me, would you? I hope you're all well. Um, we're gonna have a fun stream tonight. I've got loads of site reviews to do. Must have been something I did with the email. Maybe I'll put it in the subject of the email. I think that was the difference. A lot of people replied. Um, with their sites, so I've got about seven or eight, so we're gonna have to crack on with them pretty pronto to get through all of those. Well, let's do a few very, very quick hellos. I'll go back a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top of the chat because there's there's a lot of people in there tonight. I'll start with WP Guider. Hello, good to see you. Today's topic is, uh, well, there isn't really a topic. I really should set a topic. We're gonna be looking at some uh, affiliate websites that you kind people have sent to me. And I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion on them, maybe give you a few tips and ideas. Um, yeah, and then, you know, we'll do some questions and I'll share with you my earnings as well on the best roof box. So, anyway, hello to Helen. Hello to Bell British. I'm looking at your site uh, in a moment. Hello, Jim. Um, by the way, Helen will be obviously keeping an eye on you all tonight. Who else we got? Yeah, Jim, hello. Uh, hello to Mark, hello to Jeremy, hello to the other Mark. Mark, you're featured in one of my videos that I'm gonna to upload tomorrow, so keep your eye out for that. Um, who else have we got? I'm scrolling back down now. Hello to Aaron, Femi, Inside the Lab, PC Tech, hello to you. Um, Ticket to Fitness, hello, and Matt Short, good to see you. Steve's in as well, David, hello to you. Helen, hello, I've already said hello to you, haven't I? Well, hello again, Helen. Um, Ashley, hello. Uh, David76M, you're in as well, good to see you. Bradbury, hello. What else, and Dad Gamer, hello to you. Right, I can't say hello to everyone, but... Um, I'll try to as we go on. Hello, Phil, good to see you. And hello, Stuart and JP as well. And Koo and all the other regulars that are in it. MBMK, good to see you. How is the old soil site getting on? We would love to hear. Last time I heard you had a few sales, so that was that was great news. Talking of sales, let's uh, let's get on the computer and um, I'll do you a quick update on Best Roof Box. Transition. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just see that, did someone just join? Phil, Phil, Phil. Woo, new member time. <laughs> Fantastic, that's another member. We're soon gonna have enough members that we can do a dedicated live stream just for members, I think. By the way, if you wanna join and become a WP Eagle and have your name in lights and, um, a little egg next to your name, which will evolve into other things the longer that you stay with me as a member. So that's exciting. And there's going to be some other member perks coming real soon. Although it won't let me actually edit the perks in YouTube. I have to remove it and add it again. So I don't know what's going to happen there. But hey, we'll, we'll think of something. Um, Justin says, anyone see the new Ahrefs free tool? Well, I haven't. Is there such a thing? Let's have a quick look at that. Ahrefs free tool. Uh, what is it, this one? Oh, it's logged me in anyway. Um, where's the free tool? Can I log out? I don't want to log out. I've not seen it anyway. I'll check that out and uh, maybe do a video on that. Anyway, quick update on Best Roofbox. So, um, Remember last time I was speaking about getting some articles up real quick because I want to add a lot more car specific guides because when I set up this site, that was my ambition is to create a piece of content around every single car that's available in America. And I haven't done that. So 
that's uh, the plan. And I put this article up, the Acura RDX. Do you remember that? A very simple article um, using um, AAWP, just dropped some things in. Someone said this is probably not a good idea because um, you know all this stuff is duplicate content because it's just taken straight from Amazon. But you know, I went for it anyway. I'm pretty sure we're not ranking yet. We're not ranking yet. I'm just gonna pop over an incognito. Let's see if we can just check. Although I'm on UK, so it's not accurate because I want to rank in. Oh. Hey, look. What? We are. It's UK results though. I wonder if I switch to my VPN, will um will I like drop from the stream? I'm gonna risk it. Let's, I just want to quickly check on uh, US. Um, let's see if that's worked. So that's pretty cool. If that's ranking, that shows that maybe there's a quick way to get some content up. Of course, searching for yourself is probably not always the best way to check ranking. It doesn't look like it's appearing in America. Wherever I am, Miami. It's not appearing in Miami. But hey, it's promising that it's showing up in the UK results. I mean, oh, there I am. It's still not indexed the article properly. See, it's pulling in the home page. So anyway, let's disconnect from the VPN. I don't think that will help at all. So yeah, anyway, but anyway, cracking on, I've added another article. Now I've had a new writer, which I've been testing out, write some of these articles. And uh, they've been okay, they've been okay. Um, I only asked for 500 words. So, with 500 words, there's really only enough words to write for a couple of roof boxes. So to fill out the article, I'm adding a bit of AAWP at the bottom. So it's kind of like a hybrid article, this one. Bit of AAWP, a little bit of text. Again, it will make it, um, you know, a bit quicker to get the content up. Will I check your site, Dad Gamer? Did you email me? I'm not going to do any more sites off the um, off the chat because I've already got a load in the list. But if you want me to review for next week, um, email me. I'll put my email up. Where's that button? There. There's the email. Eagle at WPEagle.com. So we'll see how well this ranks. This car doesn't look particularly suitable for a roof box. I hope it comes with some roof. <laughs> It'll be fine. Sada says, hey Alex, do you think page speed is a factor? I saw the page of best reports to Google Insight is very slow scoring. Very slow scoring? I don't think so. Depends what you mean by very slow. Um, but to answer your question, do I think the speed is a factor? A very, very small factor. Not enough to sweat too much about. If, um, well, hello Walt. If your site is loading at a reasonable speed, which I think, you know, Best Roofbox does, if we click around, you know, content appears um, fairly pronto, then it's fine. In terms of page speed, 54 on mobile. I've had better, I've had better. Um, but the first content for paint is, that one's a bit, a bit slow. Uh, it probably still needs a little bit of work. But am I worried? Not too much. I'm going to be testing the site on a few other hosts very shortly, so that'll be interesting. What do you reckon how long you should have article? Do you recommend 1,500 to 2,000? Well, on average, my articles are around that, although this one is a bit longer. I'm now going by an article should be as long as it needs to be. Um, and I'm testing out shorter articles on here, so these two are shorter. I don't think you need to kind of stick to it too much, although obviously writers like to know how many words you want because it... It's easier for them to bill. But generally, you just need to answer whatever the title's about and however many words that takes. Why is it Fitchboy? It was in the 90s before. It was in the 90s on desktop. I don't know, let's have a look why it's, it's slow. I don't know, there's something going on. I'm going to get my speed guide to take another look at it. There's obviously a bit of a lag on the server then as well. I don't know. That's obviously having an effect. Should we run it one more time? 
I don't want to just run Google PageSpeed all night. In terms of earnings, uh, Roofbox is, well, I think it's doing okay. <laughs> it's not going to be any more than last month, I'm pretty sure of that. But um, it's getting along, getting along, chugging along. And um, 580 so far this month. Obviously, when I add AdSense and UK, it'll be, um, be a bit more than that. Uh, I haven't got analytics up. Let me just get analytics up very quickly. I have to look at my face for a second. Just <laughs> I don't want to share anything too confidential. By the way, I put a video up yesterday. Did you see it? It's um, just about my essential affiliate website plugins. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, here we go. So still, the curve still goes the wrong way, doesn't it? But um, there is signs of recovery, possibly. I don't know, let's let's go back a bit further to take this out. By the way, a lot of people are asking how I get the red numbers in analytics. Basically, if you just compare two dates, you'll get the, the greens or the reds. Just needs two dates to compare. Um, I don't know what kind of trend we're seeing there. Ignore that last bit. And I'm hoping it's going to start improving again as we go towards Christmas. Do you use Amazon affiliate accounts? Do you use different affiliate accounts for different websites, different Amazon accounts? No, same account, different tracking IDs. Is it time to sell it? It might be. I've got a call with Empire Flippers tomorrow. So we'll see what they have to say. I think before I sell it, I'd like to get these car articles up. Especially because I've got 20 written that I need to publish. I want to get them up and just see what effect. Because if I can start to turn it around, then I might hold on to it for a little bit longer. Dan says, does anyone like or use Facebook ads? I like them. I use them, but not for my affiliate sites. I manage them for a client of mine and they're very... Um, very profitable. Do you use a writer for choosing the different products on Amazon or do you choose them and tell them? I have previously let the writers decide but now I choose the products because they always choose the wrong ones. <laughs> anyway, that's it for Best Roof Box. Um, I'll have a full update for you at the end of the month, of course. Wheel along, ticking along. Wheel along, ticking along. It's got more content. Um, I think I've got it all published. Uh, all, all the content that I've had written. The last one was the beer one. Pretty sure that's everything, so I need to get a bit more written on that. How much total so far you spent on Roofbox and Wheel Along, please? Um, did a video on that a little while back. I don't have the numbers to hand. But with, I can tell you now, in terms of best roof box, I've spent about as much as it's earned, or I've earned about as much as I've spent, so I'm about breaking even. Uh, if you go back through the channel, especially you go back through the best roof box playlist, there's a video in there with the expenses, which is only a few months old, so it hasn't changed too much because I haven't been spending too much more on it. No new revenue for Wheel Along. Yeah, I was just saying about Stephen, I've published a few of them. Um, a couple on Best Roof Box. More um, are going to be added next few days. Super chat from MMK Ventures. Hit the horn. <laughs> Thank you, MMK. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Anyway, let's jump into your site. Let's do some site reviews because, as I say, I've got loads to get through. Uh, I'm going to spend as much time as they need. Probably about five minutes or so on each site. So we'll see how we get on. Indeed, Helen. <laughs> I'm going to start with a site from Aaron. Now, I will say that I haven't checked these um, in any detail. I've had a quick look at them all just to um, check that they were suitable. By the way, hello. Sorry, I forgot to say. Special shout out to Dan and Marketing goes to both WP Eagle. Eaglers, they're officially signed up. Get around the pools and the eagle salutes you. He's sitting up there. Not really. So, 
Ratingcourses.com. Now, I think this is a really interesting niche or niche, 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 niche. I think it's a really interesting niche, 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 niche. Basically, taking a look at all those courses that you see advertised probably in front of my videos on YouTube and and reviewing them. And we all know that these courses have particularly lucrative affiliate programs. But in terms of my initial thing with this site, the rating courses is actually quite a good domain name, I think, although before I came to the site and had a look at the content, I didn't know what it was about. I thought it was something to do with horse racing for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and then when you hit the site, it's not immediately clear what's going on here. I think there needs to be like, I don't know, a hero or something at the top just to say, Bosh, this is what we're doing. This is what this site is about. Um, Uh, what is it? I don't know what battery day is, John. Uh, Britzling has a very good question. I was going to ask the same thing. Why not a real picture, Aaron? Yeah, it's very difficult to trust an avatar, I think. It's always good to have a picture of yourself, if you can. You're all beautiful, so why not? Best Cape Club. Anyway, Alex, I'm thinking about doing a site on drones. What do you think about the competition? I don't have much experience in SEO. I've got a drone site in the list to look at tonight if that's um, <laughs> of any value. Also, you remember I did a video with um, Daryl Wilson. In fact, one of the sites that we're looking at tonight is, uh, is, is possible. Is it this one? Is this even, if it's running Divi or whatever, it probably is. Mm, Astra. I can't remember which one it is, but one of them in the list tonight is off that tutorial. And in that tutorial, Daryl builds a drone site. And if you remember what I was talking about the other week, where a lot of people that follow my tutorials end up just copying the niche as well. That also could mean that there's a lot of drone sites being created. Yeah, Sue's not liking the big cartoon pick either, Aaron. So that might be something to change. Other than that, I think it's good. I think it's good. Let's have a look at some content. Okay, I mean the layout and everything's nice. I like the um, the little star thing there. I don't know if this needs to be down the bottom. I don't know if hitting me, because of the kind of products these are, I'm wondering if this needs to be a bit further down. Yeah, Justin doesn't think your picture's very trustworthy. Why why is he sitting in a in a dumpster? This is it what Okay. The content looks good. I mean I'm not gonna read it all now, but it looks like it's fairly detailed. I'm not sure about these buttons that keep kind of appearing. Anything that does that immediately makes me kind of recoil because I think it's a pop-up or something that's going to annoy me. My question for tonight from Shorts Vids is if I rewrite rewrite the product description from Amazon, will it count as duplicate copy content? No, because it will be unique if you've rewritten it. Koo says the website looks sleek. He likes it, Aaron. So there you go. I think this is a really interesting niche. I'm wondering how competitive it is as a niche. Because you just know that for each one of these courses, like, you know, I can see you going for the keyword Zen arbitrage review because at the end of the day, someone who searches for that is thinking about buying it. But look at all this content that is all very specific to that term. There's another Aaron there. I guess it's a different Aaron. Oh, this is your dad. <laughs> That's strange. 
this is an honest review, but we do get paid for it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm wondering if the niche will be really competitive. That's all I'm thinking. But in terms of site, really nice work, looks good. And um, you've obviously put quite a lot of work into it and it's come together. Maybe just change this picture, maybe add a hero bit at the top just to make it very clear in terms of what the site's about. On to the next one. Thank you for sharing, Aaron. By the way, we're talking about copying niches. Obviously, my lovely viewers have shared their sites. Um, obviously, for their benefit as a little bit, but also so that you can see what they're up to, and you know, respect their niches and don't uh, don't steal them. Oh, okay, this is interesting. I mean, I don't understand the domain name, but that's probably just me. Do you agree you need to apply uh, Amazon Affiliate Association? You should definitely apply. Can you give some advice? I want to start an Amazon niche chart on SmartWatch. That could be okay. I mean, personally, I don't like technology niches. They're competitive. The stuff goes out of date all the time, which is fine because you can keep writing it. But um, yeah, I prefer more evergreen niches, stuff that doesn't move so quickly and isn't so competitive. What are your thoughts, hello Dave. What are your thoughts on adding an Amazon affiliate shop to an existing business website? Yeah, you could do, although you'd probably get more value from um, creating content for your blog that includes affiliate links. Very good point, I was gonna just say that. This site is not secure. So there's something wrong with the certificate. That's the first thing you need to fix. Lovely layout though, I, I'm inspired. You're obviously using Base WP and the uh, roof box guide. Your featured images there, they all seem a little bit squashed. I don't know what's what's happened there. They, they're not particularly good quality, they're a weird shape. There's also this box here, which I don't think should probably be there. You can go in Elementor and remove that. Now Wi-Fi as a niche, again, technology, I'm not sure how much people spend on Wi-Fi because generally it comes with your service provider, maybe the odd booster, but then they're not particularly high value. I don't know. It might be competitive and, and be you know quite a tough niche to get into. Looks like you've been adding some good content. Let's have a look. Yeah, this box seems to be across everything, so it's you've probably edited a template or something. I don't know, what is that URL? A dot ICU. Don't put your Wi-Fi router next to the microwave. It looks like good content. But I imagine the competition for something like speed up Wi-Fi, which is gonna be the keyword that you're looking to get some traction on. Massive site, a newspaper site coming up top. CNET, big site. Free YouTube videos, that's an option possibly. Intel, big site. ZDNet, big. PC Mag, I mean, this one is the only one that looks like it might be an affiliate type site. Which it is, that's the first thing they've got up here. Looks like quite an established, um, well done affiliate site as well. I do think it's going to be real competitive. Wired, big site, tech advisor, big site. Yeah, that needs to be fixed, those featured images. So yeah, nice site. Uh, you've done some great work putting it together. I think the niche could be very competitive. If you're going to go with it, fix these images and um, get rid of this weird square. And maybe think about a logo. David says, go for logo competition keywords. You could with the Wi-Fi products, so you could go for something more specific, like think of a random router name and say, you know, why increase range of a Belkin, Dubri, what's it, flip. You may be able to get some traffic. But at the end of the day, all you're gonna be able to sell is maybe a Wi-Fi extender or something. Thanks for showing your site though, really good. That was it by Fayemiwo. 
I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. This one is from Ashley, it's Coffee Kitchen Gear. Let's close some tabs, it's getting messy. By the way, did you, did, that tea is just reminding me. Have you had your tea? Or beer, or wine, or whatever it is you're drinking this evening? You can't beat a Doobie What's It Flip. Exactly, Marchins, you can't. Dan, sorry, I missed your question. Can we use other YouTube videos on our sites? Yes, you can, Dan. Again, I've got an FAQ question coming out tomorrow, which has a question about YouTube videos and whether you should or not. But yeah, I've got loads on here. Have I? Let's have a look. I've definitely got a video on this one. Read along is being a little bit slow, actually, isn't it? Uh, it's probably all these YouTube videos that are in this video, in this article. I thought WP Rocket was supposed to replace these with images. It doesn't look like it's done that. CoffeeKitchenGear.com. Okay. By the way, has anyone seen Dana? She's not been on for the last few weeks. My budget for Weed Along is about a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, lazy load of videos, definitely. That's for about forty or fifty articles. Pfizer, am I pronouncing your name right, Pfizer? I'm sure. Is Dana? Who's been in the Discord? Have they seen Dana in the Discord? By the way, link to Discord is below this stream. You'll find all details, all links, everything you need in that. Uh, in that box down there. It is very little. Yeah, I'm trying to do this one on a cheap budget. I spent a lot more on best roof box. End of the day, these are investments, aren't they? So the more you put in, the more you will get out, in theory. But of course, with all investments, there is a bit of a risk. Anyway, let's have a look at this site. So I would make this logo a little bit bigger. It's kind of sitting up here all on its own. Make it a little bit bigger. Is this kingdom... It's Astra that looks a bit like Kingdom. <laughs> WDP Rocket, that's what I thought, HF Global. Thank you, Jim. Do remember to hit the like button. I guess Dana's just a little bit busy. She's got better things to do than hang around with us lot. Anyway, uh, this needs to be in the middle. You know, if I was going to play around with this site a little bit, just to make things a little bit nicer on the eye, I think it needs a little bit more padding at the top. Do you think? Um, I don't know, maybe something like that. I'd also, I think this would maybe, I know coffee is brown, so you know, you go for that, but I'm thinking that white might look better. I think Tosh just joined the Discord. I don't know, a little bit better. Stupid Robot's been busy. Can you suggest a few niches for newly beginners? Anything in home? Anything gardening? Um, maybe try Smart Gardens. They look quite interesting. Little things that allow you to grow stuff. Struggling with the niche, any suggestions? I've done niche hunting before. You really need to try and find a niche yourself. Just have a good look in uh, in Amazon and you'll come up with some ideas. Smokers, uh, in terms of barbecue smokers, they were quite interesting, we found that the other week. Um, THC vapes if you're in the US, J5 suggests buckets. I don't think buckets require too much information when you're buying them. And today, the perfect mix is a product that's of reasonable value and that you need a little bit of advice um, to help you buy it. They're certainly the best sort of niches, which is why Roofbox has been fantastic because it's a high value product. There wasn't too much competition and 
people are a little bit unsure when they're buying it whether it's going to fit their car whether they can get their stuff in it maybe sign up for the ahs free trial and find a few niches Great tip there from Phil. Go to the Wikipedia Hobbies page and there'll be loads of stuff. Let me show you. Niche ideas. What is herb keeping? Reptiles and amphibians. Wow. Loads of inspiration there. Good tip there from Koo. Okay, let's let's have a look at this coffee site. So yeah, that, a little few tweaks here, and I say make that logo a little bit bigger. That might bring the site alive. Hi, Glenn. By the way, I, I missed you there. Good to see you. Does it, I don't think I can. Can I? Sort of size. No. Is it this one? Put a padding. I don't know what that one is. There. <laughs> I only want to make it a little bit bigger. I can't. It might only be that size, or I'm just on the wrong CSS. Yeah. Never mind. Make the logo bigger. And again, the spacing is all out here, isn't it? There's too much white at the bottom, not enough at the top. Get everything sitting in the middle of its space. And here, there's a lot going on. I mean, I like the coffee bean image, but with the content over the top, it's just very busy. Lord, I've seen a couple of sites just tonight, haven't we, with um, the domain name in the featured image, which I'm not sure you need to do that. I would create separate graphics for Pinterest. Thanks for the comment, link building blogs. My coding skill is is terrible, Koo, I think is what you meant to say. Remarkable is is very good. All very brown. I yeah, I, I we get the coffee is brown, but this might be too brown. Maybe an overlay on this image just to make it like a little bit softer, like a dark overlay with a bit of opacity that could look good. Let's have a look at some article. Or make the background dark on blurred, as Glenn says, good suggestion. Now this site could look great, I think, if you just got things lined up properly, adjust some margins, adjust some padding, that kind of thing. Because here, again, look, this is sitting slightly higher than this. This is sitting not in the middle of the box. So I think with a few little just adjustments here or there, is this the pin here for this post? Could be. Compensated links, ah, that's nice. The posts look good. You can have a few little ticks and crosses here, that might look good. I'm not sure about centering everything, but it kind of works, kind of works. David is not feeling your yellow background. The yellow, yellow is a bit, bit much, isn't it? Do you even need that kind of yellow there? Can we can we get rid of that? You know, look at look at the grey there. The grey already, the site feels more professional. The grey definitely. I don't know. We don't need the yellow. The affiliate disclosure needs to stand out. It does. I mean. I guess it needs to have a bit of a green background or red background. We've just been talking about that. Where, where is this free tool? Can anyone put a link to this Ahrefs tool? Because I couldn't see it. Gradient, maybe. I would just um, probably just have white. Uh, yeah, you can't ever go wrong with white, can you? Then it doesn't quite matter so much about lining everything up. 
but the white or the light gray was definitely better than the yellow. Thank you, Marsman. I'm glad you're enjoying the journey. Yeah, there is. That's a good tip, actually, Brad. But you can uh, just do a search on, on uh, Google and you'll find a load of colors that kind of complement each other. Also, a lot of page builders have like a color scheme built into them that you can choose. And they're, they're colors that have been picked by a designer. AAWP here is looking good. I think the site's good. Coffee, I think, is going to be a tricky niche. I think it could be competitive. I'm not sure how much money can be made from it. But, you know, the coffee machines and everything, they're worth a few pounds, I guess. And you're definitely kind of going for some long tail searches like keto coffee and that kind of stuff. Thank you, Howard. Good to see you. I nearly lost the microphone. Let's have a look at this Ahrefs tool before we go on to the next site. Ahrefs.com com slash web master tools ah. looks good check your own backlinks see your keywords hmm So I guess it's in here anyway, isn't it? When you go in. It's kind of like this stuff. I will make a tutorial. Let me add that as a priority um, thing to do. Hit the trends, eh? to the top of my list right now, I've added it. Yeah, exactly, link building. Anyway, let's crack on with these reviews. So next up we've got a site from Offer. It's a bit of a sensitive subject, possibly. For Daryl and Ferdy or WP Craft, I'm sure Daryl and Ferdy have, and WP Crafter have already done a video on it. They've, you know, they're far more efficient and hardworking than me. I love all three of those guys. Although I've never spoken to WP Crafter. Seeing as we share the first, same first name of, of WP, probably should hook up. So yeah, this site sent in by Ofa, Offer. Like this logo. <laughs> so this is a load of kind of smoking, eating things that you that they're testing. What are they giving to that dog? Wow. Site looks good, obviously using um Base WP again. I like this. Your little squares aren't loading and your site's not secure. That'd be a couple of things you want to get fixed. But the, I mean, the little icons. That is probably down to the, whatever caching plugin is not loading them. Let's check out some product testing. The logo is cool. I'm wondering if it's slightly too big because it's pushing a lot of the site down, but no, it looks good. That's quite a lot, isn't it, I think. The content looks really good. Because this is an interesting, oh, hang on, we've gone secure now. So the security error is just on the home page, is it? Okay, that's weird. So for whatever reason, when I came straight here, 
there's a problem with your SSL anyway. It's showing both the secure and non-secure versions of the site, so you need to fix that. That's a problem for SEO. That's right, Phil. It's not the right Phil spotted it. So you could probably fix it just by installing something like a simple SSL or speak to your host and they'll get that fixed for you. So yeah, as I was saying, I think this, because it's a medical kind of niche that could make it a little bit more difficult to rank well on Google, but you know, keep writing good content like this with some fantastic images. Um, there's a big gap, that, oh no, there we go. Is that, that image might be too big. Nice long articles. It's all looking really good. Mark says it should have been a .ca. Yeah, that, that could work well. Thanks for sharing, really interesting site. And really nice looking site, really good. I think, keep going, you'll be fine. I'm wondering how competitive it is. I'd imagine that a lot of people are jumping on this niche as it's kind of opening up now. Not an Amazon site then. Um, I, where are we linking off to? Let's have a look at, let's have a look at these grinders. I'm not sure how many of these kind of products Amazon actually sells. Maybe loads, I don't know. Oh no, yeah, look, these are Amazon. You can get your herb grinder, tobacco and spice grinder, of course. Of course it is. <laughs> so yeah, it's Amazon. Everyone's giving you credit for this site. Offer, well done. Justin says, well made site. Right, let's have a look at this one, sent in by Marlin, Malin. How the right side of such site is designed with popular articles and search bars, etc. Funny you should ask that word variation. You need to watch this video, let me show you. Uh, if you go into the best roof box playlist, this one here. And where we got it? Nope, too far, too far. Basically, there's a whole video on how I made that side bar. Was it that long ago? Did I not put it in here? <laughs> oh God. Tell me if you see it. Uh, uh, that here we go, here we go, it's this one. You find a shine bar. I'm putting this link into the chat right now. So, um, you know, we'll wait and see, but I'm feeling There's fairly me. confident. Ugh. We'll be soon. I'm, if you want a really fast site, you should build your site with the Oxygen Builder. Ask Phil. Which theme is what? The the weed site, that was base WP. So this site is in Swedish. So um, I don't know how good the content is. It looks nice, again, another base WP site. They always look sweet. We could always translate, should we translate? English. Is Auction Builder free? No, it's not. It is. I'm sorry I flit about a lot. I'm, sh I'm sure that a lot of people lose their thread and hate it, but um, <laughs> so we go. So it's it's this one. 99 one time. If you want WooCommerce, it's the 149. I'm going to buy myself a copy. I mean, this is a good price for page builder. Normally they charge you by site, don't they? Hey, Adrian, good to see you. 
MVS says you want a really fast site. We'll do view free. Hmm. What us? So yeah, this light looks good. Um, I just think that gaming is a very competitive niche. Also, just looking at this content, I mean, as it is in Swedish, so I don't know, but um, no, actually, it's fine. This news one threw me, but the majority of your articles are kind of search related. You can imagine that people are searching for this and this, this. These are all search, searchy sort of keywords. Probably need a little bit more in the about us. Let's have a look at some content. I like this effect on the featured image, that's nice. Table of contents looking good. I think it could be, well, it is fine, it looks it looks great. I just think that the niche might be tricky, but keep adding content and, you know, maybe Sweden, um, you know, there's an opening there and there's not so much competition. It needs affiliate disclosure. Well spotted Coop. Yep, you need your disclosure, otherwise you're gonna get in trouble. Thanks for sharing. Let's have a look at this one, inside the lab.net, which was sent in by Terence. Adrian, you're at Luton Airport. That's just up the road from me. Another gaming site. <laughs> That's why gaming is a little bit competitive. This is obviously PC gaming, but it's all still gaming, isn't it? I think even really specific gaming niches, it could be a struggle to um, to get any good rankings. Ah, there you are. Mainland, that was, um, it was mainly the site, we were just looking at the Swedish one. It could work in Sweden, I hope it does. I just think in general, um, it's very competitive. So this site, there's a few things going on that are, are bothering me a little bit. This massive image is nice, but it's kind of weird hitting a site where everything's down here. You've got this little arrow which jumps you past all these stuff. Then this massive advert, I mean, you don't want to, the first thing people see, you don't want to show them an ad. You want to get to know them a little bit before you start putting ads all over them. You're best to do it regardless. If you're promoting an American company, then you should put your disclosure on. I think it's just good practice to do it anyway, because it's only a matter of time before our rules catch up with the FDAs. Hard to read the text. It is a little bit hard to read the text. Good point. Again, what is this? Um, a huge advert. I've been looking for email servers, and that's why I've got this one. In fact, I use SendGrid for a little while. Phil can vouch for that. They're terrible. Um, there's a lot of parallax. It's just there's a lot, and there's a like, lot of ads that are just distracting. Yeah, I think the theme is not letting you not helping. It's letting you down a little bit. It's been two months, but still not getting traffic to the website. Any advice? It can take up to six months before traffic starts to happen. If you're stuck in the Google sandbox, for example. Yeah, there's too much going on. Too many ads. The niche is probably too competitive. Um, apart from that, the site's pretty good. <laughs> right, next is t -Ork, and t -Ork is in the house. He's in the chat. I've seen him just a minute ago. So. It's around t-shirts. Now I think this could work really well and I also think this could work really well on social media. I'm always tempted to click on like pictures of t-shirts especially if they're relevant to me 
When I think about a sneaker comparison site, I think it could work. I think it'd be a lot of work. It could work, but it'll also be a lot of work. Nice, clean uh, look and feel is Astra again. Stuart asks, is this print on demand? Let's have a look. No, oh, it's sending off to Zazzle and places like that. I think you need um, an affiliate disclosure, as we've just mentioned. I mean, with social media, you would have to just be careful that you don't spend too much on ads. But you could definitely get your site going, for example, target people that like Superman and showing them this picture. Yeah, Dan, it's a little bit more techy option, but once you get your head around it, it's really good. Josh, who's our techie guru, as well as Phil, they both um, swear by it. Now, in terms of content, there's not many words in here, which is fine because there's not too many words you need to write about a t-shirt. It's all visual, isn't it? This guy only stands in one position. And I think that this is probably very competitive. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there's gonna be a few in there, but I think if you went really deep within films, so for example, having a Superman t-shirts rather than superhero, going very specific, you might do okay. David says it needs a bit more text. He probably does need a bit more text. So let me just do a bit of keyword research. Something like t-shirts from the film or T-shirts from the Big Bang Theory, or shirts. I think in something like that could be good. It's quite hard to do keyword research in this thing, isn't it? T-shirts. Uh huh. But talk. Mm. I don't know why it changes T-shirts to shirts. Lots of people looking for animal t-shirts. And then you need to do a bit of, certainly do quite a bit of keyword research, I think, to kind of really dig in and find those really niche t-shirts people are looking for, and then create content around those. Dan, I did a stream on um, Oxygen a few weeks back. Maybe go and check some of that. You'll see me building it with it and you'll see what it's like. It's not, when I say techie, it's just not quite as user friendly and slick as Elementor and uh, Brizzy and Divi. There's still, uh, as Phil says, there is still the starter sites, the kind of templates and stuff that you can easily just drop in. I think you'll be fine, I think you'll be fine. I think the t-shirt thing's a good idea. I'm not sure how much commission you're gonna make on a t-shirt, probably not a lot. But um, it could work really well on Pinterest as well because it's very visual, very visual. So you could create some fantastic boards about t-shirts, group them again around films or certain themes. Thanks for sending it in though. Thanks for sharing, Paddy. Rye Vids, which was sent in by Ryan. Now, what the heck just happened there when I hit this site? That's not good, that's not good. So first of all, I hit the site and then suddenly I'm pushed down to the footer. And now you're asking me if you wanna, if you can notify me. Notifications are like banned for me. 
on the phone and you're not coming in the browser that's for sure I don't need any more notifications and even if I was gonna have a notification you can't just ask me as soon as I arrive you've got to show me something first instant bounce yeah that's gonna happen on this site when you hit this and get bombarded with this and then suddenly you know you want my email address as well another bounce trigger yeah that's just gonna bounce everyone straight off so let's go up to the top I'm guessing, uh, let me just check. Yeah, you, uh, the one I was thinking of who watched Daryl's um, video. I think drones is competitive. I think some, we've all, someone has already um, mentioned it haven't they i think drones are competitive to do the same niche as the one that daryl used in the tutorial video means again there's going to be a load of people that probably copy it too so yeah the choice of niche may not be ideal i like the look and feel of the site i love the video i like these buttons if you're going to have a buy on Amazon button, you really need your affiliate disclosure somewhere in this area. That's quite nice. Let's have a look in here. What have we got? Need way more content. See, this article should probably be two articles. I think you're trying to go for two search terms there. People are gonna be searching either for the best drone for beginners or the best drone for pros. They're not gonna probably be searching for both in the same breath. I look stressed, I'm so relaxed, it's unbelievable. Uh, I think I had one too many coffees there today. Maybe that's it. Thanks for your concern though, Pfizer. So yeah, it needs a bit more content. And those colours, the the orange on the blue is a little, ooh, and there's that yellow again with the blue. Those two colours, mm, they're okay, but they don't kind of sit with the site very well. They portray a certain kind of feel, don't they? And your thumbnails are all different sizes. See, you got the orange and blue in the logo. It looks okay there, but when you bring it in here, there's it's I don't know. What what are these anyway? These aren't related to drones. I just noticed that. So now you got this about video games. Which is fine, but this kind of content is going to be so hard to get any traffic to it because there's going to be so many big companies and magazines and stuff that write exactly the same article and do it longer and better than, than we could ever do. If you'd like to connect anyone, just email me at ego.wpeagle.com. Not tonight, Daniel. We're just about to come to the end. But if you want me to review your site next week, again, email me at eagle at wpeagle.com. Bye-bye, JP. Good to see you. We're nearly at the end anyway, aren't we? We're at half past nine. Let's just finish off. We've got a couple of sites here sent in by Craig. Who I think is in the chat. He was earlier. Now, camping, camping, the good old camping niche. Well, British, by the way, I'm happy to do uh, something with you. I can, I'm happy to create you an article around roof boxes for camping gear that you can add to your blog.
Camping is a niche that is one that's been well trodden because we've definitely seen a few camping sites and I think some of the bigger experts did do camping. Not that that should put you off. Now you've obviously got um, WooZone running because you told me that. There's a big gap here, I don't know what, what that is. Is that an ad or something that's not loaded? The image is a little bit small. I guess that's a WooZone thing. Is it okay to order 10 articles and post them in one month? Like, yeah. You can do as many articles as you want and post them as quickly as you can. It doesn't make any difference. Probably the quicker the better. So, yeah, I wouldn't have a massive ad at the top anyway. Get rid of that. What is this? Another Acura RDX. I caught my eye because of the article. Why have you got car articles? Yeah, Glenn's site is ranking when you do a search for who is WP Eagle. Go check it out on Google. Yeah, Bell British, why is there stuff in here that's not camping related? What else we got? What, what is this? Okay. Yeah, auto blogs is, is, yeah, you don't want auto blogs for sure. In fact, you know, even WooZone nowadays is a little bit old hat. The kind of sites that really perform well now are sites that are just focused on good quality content. So helping people choose what they need when they're going camping, you know, whatever that may be. All this is going to do auto blogs um, and having too many WooZone products as well to a certain degree is just make your site look a little bit spammy. So yeah, get rid of the auto blogs. It's based WP free. It is scum. What an interesting name you have. Let's take a look at your other site that we got from Craig. This one's running on Flatsome. Thanks, Tosh. See you in Discord. Thanks for joining me. Best WooCommerce theme that can give more conversion? Any nice looking theme that's not too cluttered. This looks nice, so your, your navigation, was this? Was it a bit slow loading? That was not too bad. It looks nice. A lot of WooZone stuff going on again. I mean, let's say WooZone maybe not ideal. You need a few more columns down here. End of the day, just focus on content. I can't even see a link to the blog on here. Is it in here? No. So yeah, focus on content, less WooZone, no auto blogs. In terms of niches, I think they both could be quite competitive. You know, within home office, you could probably go even more specific and like go for furniture, that kind of thing. Just my gut feeling. Hi Mike, 835. How can you move up the top title like the one you have on Rootbox site or wheelbarrow? I can't get that section text to move up. If I move up, it goes, what, what, what are we looking at here, Mike? R7, see you later, good to see you. What are we looking at? Mike, talk me through this. What, this one? Is it that title? Find your roof box, area box. Ah, this bit. We've got the top title that we want to have on the roof box site. So what are we what are we doing with it? Let's say have a look. In fact, it might be better if you just email me. 
and then I'll have a look at your site because I, I don't know, quite know what you mean. How do you get, yeah, my email is eagle at WP Eagle, my canal. I'll try and help you out. These articles here are using the fantastic WP Illegal. <laughs> That's weird. I wondered what on earth for WP Illegals. Thank you for that pair. Because on my stream software, it doesn't show those images, it just describes them. It said, Super sticker, two pound from WP Illegal. Pair character turning around, waving his hand, saying, Hey, you, while lowering his glasses. And that is indeed what he is. But yeah, this is the fantastic, um, where is it? It's part of UAE. So if you go to wpeagle.com slash UAE, you can find the plugin. It's the ultimate add-ons plugin for Elementor and I'm using the um, posts widget, which is, where's it gone? There, this one posts. Oh yeah, horn for the sticker. And on that horn, we are gonna transition. Oh, yeah, the camera is still on, isn't it? That's good. Is it, it's not, is it focusing on me? Yeah, there we go, focus. Oh, hang on, I, I took a picture. I think the problem is I've got the wrong setting on it. Hang on. That's better. Am I in focus? I think so. Aaron. Wow, everyone's at it now. Aaron, Aaron have a bit of horn. <laughs> I'm only joking. Thank you, Aaron. I really appreciate the um, the super chats. Lee says, so Alex, are you still on Team Elementor? Of course. I am just checking out some different page builders. <laughs> still gonna be using Elementor for best read books there. We're along, but I am gonna be churning out loads of tutorial videos over the coming weeks on creating sites with the other things, uh, with Oxygen, with uh, Thrive, and with um, the other one, Brizzy. Thank you, being, being Hindustani. Good to see you. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy looking at all those sites? I did, lots to look at there, lots of different niches. Got a video for you tomorrow. It's all edited, it's ready to go. I'll upload it sometime. It's the FAQ, so it's featuring a few of you guys, um, uh, basically a few of your regular questions that come up on the channel all the time. So yeah, do check that out. There may or may not be a stream on Thursday. It depends. There may be some things happening this week that I need to sort out. Um, if there is a stream, I'll see you then. If there's not, then I won't. I'm still kind of thinking about the best times for the second stream of the week. Thursday afternoon. Doesn't get as busy as this for sure. Um, we only get a few people, but it's nice, and we we have a play around with different page builders and stuff. Why do I keep building my sites around Amazon instead of different companies? Like what companies? I will be doing some, maybe with some different companies. The main reason I'm still using Amazon is it's still the easiest. It's still the highest converting. It's still the place with the most products. So the basket basket size is pretty big. And it's still the easiest to get approval on. I just got um, declined from Walmart again. But I think that's because they changed their rates. Stuart, my man, have a horn. Really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Helen has just put a link up to the Facebook group. We're good to see you in there. A lot of people have been quiet in the chat, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, it's good that you're just there anyway, that you're just chilling. That's fine with me. You need to stream. 
well you can watch this stream as many times as you like after the event it will be available damn <laughs> and I will organize a members only stream really soon but on that note this note which is actually a few notes because it's a glockenspiel I'm going to do the countdown Five, four. Ku says, "Hang on, before we go." Ku says, uh, "Because you feel feel that like other companies could take my roofbox income to the next level." Yeah, if only they would approve me for their affiliate programs. I've tried with REI. I've tried with a few others. I've got one that I'm approved with. I have not added their links yet, but I still think that people are going to order from Amazon regardless. And you've got to. Bear in mind, I think I'd, I checked this the other week on one of the live streams, I remember doing it. But 80% of the money that I make in terms of the products sold is not roof boxes. People go to Amazon through my links and buy other things. Thursday streams are fun. Pete, are you still using HostGator? No, not really. SiteGround is who I recommend right now. So that's wpeagle.com slash SiteGround, affiliate link, thank you. Scum says don't go. I have to. Where do we get to? Four. Three. Two. My finger's gone weird. One. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah, or Spiderweb. Speak to Phil if you want some hosting. He looks after a lot of my sites. Phil's there in the chat. You'll also find a form on WP Eagle for the WP Eagle hosting, which is basically Phil. I'm just trying to find the button. I think we found it. 